All right, so in this screencast, we are going to add Bootstrap framework to help us with CSS and front-end styling and some JavaScript. So let's create a branch for that first. All right, so if you go to rubygems.org, you will see that we have this bootstrap SAS gem, so we are going to add that to our gem file. Go back to the text editor, go to gem file, and then we are going to add that gem right here. And let's bundle that. Alright, so let's take a look at the documentation. So we are going to um, it says you make sure that you have this these gems to be installed and if you look at the gem file we already have SAS Rails installed on our app so let's go to the next one so we're going to rename our application.css file to scss file and we're going to replace all the sprockets require uh, statements with these SAS native at import um, syntax. So let's do that. So we can just change the name of the file app assets style sheet application dot CSS to app asset style sheet application dot SCSS. All right, so let's take a look at that file. Uh, style sheet application .css. So we're going to remove these two requires. Um, actually, we are going to delete everything from this file. So, and then if you go back to the documentation, you're supposed to take this and paste that in. All right. So says bootstrap sprockets must be imported before bootstrap for icon fonts to work. All right, so we did that, then remove all the required self and required three dot statements from the SAS file, and instead of use at import to import SAS files. All right, so, and we're going to add this line to our application.js, and all right, so let's do that. Just copy that line, go back to the text editor, and we're going to edit our app assets um, JavaScript application.js. And we're going to add that under jQuery. Alright. Alright. So that's it. And so let's see if that worked. Let's start up the Rails server and let's go to localhost 3000 and take, you'll see that this it that's bootstrap style is applied to our application. So that's great. So let's commit that first. Get add commit add bootstrap CSS framework. So in this screencast, I want to add the nav bar to our application. So let's go to bootstrap nav bar and in components navbar and it has this example so it looks like you have to have this nav tag with a class of navbar and navbar default div so let's do that so I'm just gonna alright so let's take this let's take these two lines actually and let's go to application oops 
layouts application.html.erb. And instead of this header, we're going to um, change that to nav class of nav bar nav nav default and div class container fluid So let's see what it did. Refresh the page. Forgot to run the server, of course. Refresh the page, and you'll see this nav bar at the, at the top. So that's great. So let's take a look at this. And we want to add this brand to, so it's adding this nav bar brand. So we're going to add that so right here I'm gonna paste that in and then change that to whatever you want to call your app so I'm just gonna call it um, my app for now let's see what it did all right all right sweet so it has this logo here and then I want this to be this button to be placed on the right side. So let's see what class we have to add to do that. So it looks like we have this you uh, an order list, and then the class of nav bar right, and then you have list elements within this un unordered list. So let's do that. So take this line copy that and then go to here and so wrap this in an ordered list and this is going to generate an a tag so let's wrap that with list element and all right so that's Good. Do the same thing for this one as well. Let's see what it did. Refresh the page and it's floated to the right. So that's great. So cool. So let's commit this change. Let's just check git diff and what it did. All right, so that's cool. Um, actually, before we commit this, I want to move this code, this HTML snippets to a partial file. So let's do that. So let's create app view layouts and then underscore header .html.erb. And you take this and paste that in right here. And right here you say um, render layouts header. Let's see what it it didn't break anything. Oops. Gotta run the server again. And it's still working. Nice. Alright, so let's commit that. Uh, let's make sure if it didn't break anything and it's still passing. Cool. So let's add that.
All right, cool. So let's mer merge that in to our master. Go back to master branch, merge bootstrap. All right. So that's it for this episode, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.